everyone, it's Rora Cosplay and I'm going to be making a multi-part video on how to make something like this from start to finish. Um, this is a van brace that goes on my left arm. Uh, it won't exactly be like this because my armour set is really asymmetrical. I'll be putting them all in a playlist, so the first one will be uh, how to make a pattern from one of your body parts, how to get the base shape of this, and then how to add some detail. And later on when I get to it, um, when I finish making the strap tutorial, I'll be adding in the straps and then when I get to it later, there'll be some painting in there as well. So hopefully it will help some people out. Loads of people have been asking about how to get detail on there, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Just a quick note, all these methods I'm about to show you are really translatable to whatever you want to do. So the patterning that I'm going to show you is translatable to your legs, your arms, your chest. Uh, if you've got a mannequin, you can do your chest on the mannequin. If you just have you, then you can get a friend to help you. If you wear like a t-shirt you don't ever want ever again underneath. Um, the warbler methods and detailing methods, you can sort of adapt that. It's just a what showing you what I'm going to do so you can kind of see the things that I've been experimenting with and the results I'm getting. Um, so yeah, so whatever you want to do you can just adapt what I'm doing to uh, your piece of armour that you want to make. So first of all we're going to be making a pattern for your van brace. So I've got some cling film or saran wrap which I got from a local supermarket. I got the cheapest one I could find. Masking tape or some painters tape. Uh, I think you could get it if you've got a good craft store around you. I got mine at a hardware store or B&Q if you're English. Some markers, I've got a Sharpie which is running out so I've also just got a big fat red marker. It doesn't matter as long as it's permanent and it, you can draw on yourself with it. So yeah, let's get to it. So I need to make this pattern with drawing on myself. The only way to draw on myself and get a proper shape is by covering my arm in cling film first, which is fun and really difficult when you're right handed. So eh, I just need a couple of layers. I think that's enough. I'm just going to eat it off because there is just me here. Hang on. It's okay, we're all friends here. We understand that sometimes things just get a little bit weird. So <laughs> there we go. So I've literally just put about two wraps, uh, not too much because otherwise you won't be able to cut it off and you don't want that. The next thing I'm gonna use my masking tape. I'm gonna cut, not even cut. I'm gonna rip pieces off and wrap my arm in them on the cling film. Don't put this on your arm because it's going to hurt when you take it off, which is why we put the cling film on first, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory, which is probably why I speed it up at this point. So yeah, I am done. I literally just put one, one layer or one and a bit layers, some bits are thicker than others, um, just so it's easier to cut through. Mental note, if you're using a part of your body that you don't understand how to use, for me it's my left hand, uh, find a friend because right-handed scissors and left hands don't work and I discovered why there are left-handed scissors today, so we're doing this earlier. <laughs> so. Yeah, now I need to draw this on. Uh, my references are actually on my phone, which is what I'm using now, but I have a book on my lap, which is great. Uh, yes. So I always have my references handy, just so I know what I'm doing. And you want to draw roughly, you've got to figure out where you want it to sit when you have your hands wherever. Uh, obviously do this according to what you're making and not what I'm making, unless you're making the same thing. In that case, cool. So I know I want the edges to go about here. So when I'm making my armor, like I, when I put my arm down, I want it to kind of stick out here. I don't know if you can see this. 
I'm going to stick it out here and then when I have my arm out like this I want it to stick up and look cool which is why I'm doing it a little bit funny um, I'm just going where my bone is at the moment so remember when you're making armour you're not a video game character <laughs> you're not going to clip through things so I need to make sure that you're going to have the movement you need so if the bend in my wrist is here I want my arm piece to come just about where I've drawn that line. I've got an elbow piece as well and I already know from my other arm that if I do that it's not gonna clash or at least hit it. Again I'm not a video game character so I think coming about there is right. So yeah I've literally just drawn the basic outline. If you need to draw more detail on it then go ahead. If you don't uh, cut it off in the space where you don't need it to be. Uh, get a friend, again, if you're discombobulated with your left hand. Um, I'm going to go find my friend right now <laughs> to go cut it off in the form of my mother. She's already downstairs. She won't be happy. <laughs> but yeah. Um, cool. And then we're going to move on. So here's what you've got. Um, it's all bent nicely in the shape of my arm and what it looks like. So all you have to do now is just cut it to shape of your pattern, but leave a little bit of a gap just in case you need to, uh, you know, have it bigger or have it smaller. It's better to go a little bit bigger than what you what you need, just in case, because you can always go smaller. You can never go bigger. Now we need to obviously flatten this out. Um, because obviously when you're going to put this against some craft foam and some warbler, you can't really bend it. So what I like to do, and you're going to be like, no, don't cut it, cutting it down the middle. So now I've cut it on the middle, you're going to see that when I put these two pieces together, if I show you, there's going to be, if I put them flush, the bottom and the top bit, there's going to be a gap in the middle. And you need to keep that gap. And for some reason, something or other, curves and whatnot, you're going to lose space when you curve it round. Um, which is why you get this weird gap. And you need to keep that gap in whenever you pattern stuff. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to translate this pattern that you've just made onto some craft foam and some warbler and make the base of the uh, van brace. Yeah, the base of the van brace. <laughs> Check it. If you want to follow my cosplay adventures, you can like my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Aura Cosplays. And you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Aura360. Uh, you can subscribe for more stuff, leave a comment if you want to see anything more, if you don't understand anything that I'm talking about, which is completely understandable. Um, so yeah, that's where you can find me on the Interverse.